We, as a unified command, have a role to play in helping to bring stability to an important part of this world, the continent of Africa and its island nations. We do not do that by ourselves. We do that as a member of a team using this whole of government approach that says those things done by the military are but one part of the totality required to cause stability to be there. Now, how do we know if we're doing it in a way that matters? We have to assure our activities are synchronized, harmonized, and coherent in those, or with those things that are being done by other aspects of our government, our interagency partners, our teammates on the continent, those African nations with whom we partner, our non-governmental and private partners. And the key to doing all of that effectively is in understanding, is in having the broad perspectives that allow us to see things from 360, not from our myopic point of view, only influenced by our experiences, our religion, people who look like us, but from the perspectives of others, so that when we bring those perspectives and the richness of the decisions, the richness of the executions that that, that, that brings, we are better assured of having a successful outcome. And that doesn't just happen because you're the smart engineer, because you're the smart lawyer, because you're the smart doctor. It happens because the team is a team of diverse folk representing backgrounds, religions, experiences, cultures that cause our look at a situation to reflect the richness of those backgrounds. And in so doing, take us a step further towards a solution set that will provide the type of stability that we all cherish, that we all want, not just for ourselves, for children, for grandchildren, and for generations to come. But if we don't pay attention to that, it won't happen. We will think we are doing the right thing and we'll be missing the mark because we have failed to take advantage of the diversity that it is within our midst. 